Hi everyone, so I'm going to talk to you about comparing accommodation living versus housing living. So I stayed in Bailey Point in first year and now I'm in my own house with a group of five, there's five of us um, in Winton. So I'm going to talk you through like the difference in perks, the difference in responsibilities, um, so you can work out where you would want to stay next year or in the future. So first thing I want to discuss is location. So student accommodation in Bournemouth is so conveniently placed, you're near the beach, you're near the shops, you're near the clubs, you're near all the other student accommodation. So it's just so useful. And then housing in Bournemouth for students tends to be in Lansdowne, Charminster or Winton. Winton's closest to the uni, Charminster's it's kind of in the middle and then Lansdowne is closer to the beach and student accommodation. So it really depends on, it's really personal preference where you would rather stay. I found living in Winton so useful because I'm a 10 minute walk away from uni and it's really useful because I don't have to catch the bus. But then when I was living in Bailey Point in student accommodation, there were buses everywhere. So um, it was really easy access to a bus and transport. So it's not really an issue being slightly further away. Second thing is bills. So you have a lot more responsibility living in a house than you do in accommodation. In accommodation, it tends to be that all your bills are included, sometimes even a bus pass. In a house, it's not so much like that. You have the responsibility to sort out bills for Wi-Fi, electricity, hot water, gas, etc. Top tip, make sure that the company your previous tenants were with isn't still charging you because we set up our bills with a company and then we were getting charged by this other company so we were being charged twice because the previous tenants didn't cancel it. So check with your landlord um, or your previous tenants what bills they, what company they set their bills up with. Anyway, a benefit of living in, the in a house is that you probably have more room. The student accommodation is lovely but your bedrooms are or fairly small. They do the job, but they're fairly small. Um, and living in a house, you have more room usually, and you it feels more like a home, um, and you get the opportunity to dress it up a lot more and make it more homely than you would student accommodation. So living in a house has definitely felt like I'm living in a home at university rather than student accommodation kind of felt like a place to stay at uni, not a home. A perk of living in accommodation is you get to meet so many people, neighbours, um, flatmates, all sorts. It's so useful for that respect. But then in a house, you're probably going to be staying with your best friends. Um, it doesn't give you the chance to meet new people, but there's a perk in living with all of your best friends. So it's all, again, personal preference. A benefit of living in a house as well is because, well, for me personally, because I'm in Winton, I've got to experience Winton and um, learn new bus routes and explore other parts of Bournemouth that I wouldn't have had if I if I stayed in student accommodation. Um, so it's really beneficial in that respect. And I feel like I know my way around Bournemouth a lot more now. You also just feel more grown up because you're responsible for everything and it's your house. Also accommodation, you don't have a bar, you don't have a garden and I'm pretty sure you have to pay for parking um, or there isn't any. With a house, you may get a driveway, you may get a garden. So if you're a person that likes that kind of space, really beneficial. Then again, by accommodation, there's a seven mile long beach. So it's completely personal preference. Those are a few of the main things I would say about living in accommodation versus living in housing. I really enjoyed both and I haven't decided whether I'm gonna go back to accommodation for third year or stay in a house. Ideally, I just wanna be somewhere near the beach. So regardless if I'm near the beach, I'll be happy. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.